This video is brought to you by HockeyMonkey.com, your one-stop shop for the best prices on all the latest and greatest hockey gear. Be sure to use coupon code HR4U7 at checkout to receive 7% off any order. Hey guys, Josh from HockeyReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review of the CCM CL500 hockey gloves. These are the top end gloves currently on offer from CCM. They have a retail price of $160 US. And not only do they look great, they actually perform well too. So with that being said, let's get right into the review. First things first, let's talk about the overall physical appearance of the CL500s. Now like I just mentioned, I'm a huge fan of the overall appearance of this particular glove. I think that it has a modern design with very classic styling. The graphic is relatively simple and looks good on a variety of colorways, especially the black, red, and white one that I have right here. And overall, it's just a very clean looking glove in my opinion. Now as far as materials go, you're going to find that the majority of the glove is made from a pro nylon. You're also going to find some synthetic leather overlays in the glove itself that make up the main graphic or main design on the glove. Um, as far as CCM branding goes, you're going to find three embroidered CCM logos. One at the top, one on the inside of the cuff, and one at the tip of the thumb. You're also going to find an embroidered CL500 logo right there on the side of the hand. So overall, very simple styling. Really big fan of how these things look. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'd be very curious to hear your opinions. Next, let's talk about the overall fit and mobility of the glove itself. Now, as you can see, the design itself is very heavily segmented across the backhand as well as in the fingers. When you put the glove on and start moving your fingers around, you're going to notice that you have a very good range of motion, but the fingers do have a slightly tighter fit about them. That's because this glove does have more of a tapered style design. So they're going to be tighter in the fingers, slightly wider in the backhand area with a very, very open cuff, giving you really nice mobility on this particular glove, something that a lot of people are going to like um, from the CL500 in my opinion. So really good range of motion in the fingers because they are pretty heavily segmented as you guys can see, but it still has a nice solid feel about it. It doesn't feel like there's open gaps, it doesn't feel like you're being exposed at all, it just has a nice solid feel. Now as far as the thumb goes, you're going to have CCM's Pro Flex thumb, so there is some flexibility to it just on one area right here, but it still has that nice lock feature as well, so it's not going to be able to hyper or extend or anything like that. The flex thumb is something that I like to see in a lot of high-end gloves simply because it does give the glove a slightly more natural feel in my opinion and you do get that nice flexibility uh, from this particular thumb like I mentioned. So overall in the fingers and thumb you have a really nice range of motion as you would expect from a high-end pair of hockey gloves um, and like I said it has that tapered fit. It's a little bit tighter in the fingers, wider in the backhand, more open flare at the cuff. Uh, you can see that the actual wrist area it's very very short and you have two little slits on either side so pretty much right once you get to the the bottom of your hand right there there's no restrictiveness whatsoever in the glove because of that one little segmented piece so again in terms of range of motion at the wrist there is pretty much no restrictiveness to this glove whatsoever but still some pretty decent protection on the cuff as you guys can see uh, one thing to mention regarding the sizing is that I did wear a size 14 inch glove for review and for the most part the fit is very very good if anything I would say that the fingers are ever so slightly shorter on this particular glove so if you do find that you have particular long fingers it might not be a bad idea to bump up your glove size one inch for a more comfortable fit in terms of protection you're gonna get a solid amount of it with the CL 500s from CCM as far as the backing for the glove itself all these little segmented pieces are made from CCM's U-Foam. Um, basically, it's a high-density foam. doesn't feel much different from other high-density foams you're going to find on uh, pretty much any other high-end glove on the market. But for the most part, like I said, it feels very, very solid. And because the glove is so heavily segmented, you have really good coverage no matter which way you flex your fingers or which way your hand moves or anything like that. Um, what I did find particularly interesting is that you're not going to find any plastic caps over top of the U-Foam pieces in the hand and finger area of the glove. It's straight foam, there's no plastic caps whatsoever, which may compromise the overall protection just a little bit, but for the most part, they still feel very, very solid, and the high density foam will do a really good job of keeping you nice and safe. With that being said, this glove does not lack plastic caps. You're gonna find plastic caps on the U-Foam going along the side of the pinky finger, going along the side of the index finger, as well as in the thumb area, 
and in the cuff area of the glove itself, you're going to find again that high density foam, the U-foam with a plastic cap over top. Now the cuff itself is relatively unique. There is a slight extension at the top as you guys can see, but instead it's a 100% exposed U-foam piece. Um, now this foam itself is relatively thin, very, very lightweight, and because it has no liner or anything like that, it's not going to absorb any water and it has a nice open natural feel. Kind of a unique element of this glove. And uh, even though it's very low cut, you have plenty of mobility at the wrist, because you have that nice extension piece here um, at the top of the glove, you're gonna get some really nice protection while still maintaining that free range of motion and maximum mobility from the gloves themselves. So in terms of protection, you're getting some really good coverage here, um, but just keep in mind that these do not have plastic caps going across the top of the glove. It's that th if that's something that does concern you, then maybe this isn't the glove for you, but if that's something that doesn't really bother you, then by all means, this is still a very, very good option when it comes to overall protection. Next, let's talk about the palms and overall durability of the gloves themselves. Now, the CL500s feature a Pro Nash palm from CCM. It does have a really, really premium feel, um, more so than most high-end gloves, I would say. Um, the softness of the palm is really, really nice. It does have a slightly kind of fuzzy finish about it, which again adds to the overall softness and premium feel of the gloves themselves, with several reinforcement layers here running through the middle of the hand, while the finger area of the palms is going to be a little bit on the thinner side. Because they are a little bit thicker through the main hand area, I did find that it took a couple hours of wear time just to get used to the palms, be comfortable with the feel, but for the most part, they really didn't take too much time to break in, and they felt pretty natural very, very quickly, um, from brand new anyways. Um, as far as the overall feel of the palms themselves, I was able to get really nice puck feel because it is such a soft palm. I would say the thickness is about medium through the middle and a little bit thinner in the fingers. Um, as far as other features go when it comes to the palms themselves, because it does have that slightly fuzzy finish, it does enhance the grip ever so slightly, I would say, um, which is nice if that's your thing. Uh, to me, I really enjoyed the overall feel. Again, it just has a nice premium feel about it, uh, more so than other gloves that I've personally worn. Now, as far as other features you're gonna find on the gloves themselves, you can see that at the fingertips, there's a little graphic there, and that graphic is supposedly an enhanced grip coating that CCM has applied to the palms themselves. It's a very thin coating that wears away pretty easily, as you guys can see, um, and for the most part, I found it to be pretty insignificant in terms of modifying your feel of the stick itself. It didn't enhance my grip in any way, and for the most part, I just really didn't notice it um, all that much at all. In terms of durability, again, because they have that slightly fuzzy finish about them, it will make the palms ball up a little bit more easily. It's not necessarily a durability concern, it's just something that's gonna happen with a softer style of palm, um, whereas palms that have more of a matte, uh, kind of smooth finish about them will tend to show a little bit less wear but aren't necessarily more durable so for the most part these are going to have a really nice long lifespan and have a nice premium feel will they be as durable as something uh, a little bit more smooth a little bit thicker not necessarily but if you want that ultra premium feel you're definitely going to get it from the cl500 palms all right guys, that's it for my review of the CL500 hockey gloves from CCM. This is a glove that I can absolutely recommend to pretty much anybody. If you're looking for something that has a really nice range of motion in the fingers, decent protection, a really open cuff area, a tighter fit in the fingers, as well as super high quality palms, then this is 100% a glove that I can recommend to you. And to me, it's absolutely worth the money. Now, if you are interested in purchasing a pair of these gloves for yourself, you can do so through the Buy It Now link down below in the description, along with the provided HR4U7 coupon code that allow you to pick these up below the $160 retail price. Now, if you have any questions regarding these gloves, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And also, if you have any suggestions for other pieces of equipment you'd like to see me review, again, leave a comment. I'm always open to hear your suggestions. If you've enjoyed today's video, be sure to support with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for more reviews on all the latest and greatest hockey gear. Other than that though guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.